What is going on good people of YouTube? Blue Light Bandit here with my trusty partner Colt. And today I finally got my reviews done, my comparisons of the uh, Stealth Gear USA inner waistband holsters and the Alien Gear Cloak 3.0 or the Cloak Tuck 3.0 I should say. And also I threw in my, my basic Alien Gear inner waistband holster. I've been uh, reviewing these for a while now. I've been wearing them and testing each different one. Uh, been carrying the basic alien gear inner waistband for a long time now i've done a uh, uh separate video on that earlier i'll post the link in the description and uh i love that holster it's been solid as rock there's nothing wrong with it now it's still just as good as uh the day i bought it and as a matter of fact the only reason why I uh, decided to get a new one uh, was from the stuff I was reading on the internet and the different forums about uh, comfortability and heat and uh, just how stealth gear was so much better than alien gear and all this hype and I'm like what in the world and I started researching and reading more and I was like well maybe there's something to this well, maybe I'm missing out on something and uh, you know, I noticed that Alien Gear come out with a, a newer version of this, which is the Cloak Tuck 3.0. And so I thought I'd uh, give each one a fair shake and a try. And I waste money so you don't have to. And uh, maybe this will help somebody out because the reviews I saw uh, didn't really help uh, me make a decision. So I just went ahead and pulled the trigger and bought both. And I actually done some unboxings of each one of them and my first impressions. But if I compiled all that together, it's going to be a long video. And nobody wants to watch a long video. So, uh, to begin with, uh, Stealth Gear. When it came in, uh, it comes with a nice plastic bag that I destroyed when I opened up the, the package. I cut the bottom of it by accident, but they give you a bag, and it's a nice bag, but I'm not sure what the bag is for. Um, to put the holster in when you're not using it, I guess. I don't know why you would do that, but they include that bag. They also include a, a little sticker, and they include a nice booklet telling you about each one of the different holsters and about the company and whatnot. Nice little literature book. They also include... Uh, this quick draw uh, it's they're recommending you to use this i do not like this a bit uh it's basically a lubricant that they recommend you put inside the kydex part of the holster and it's supposed to uh, increase the life of it of the holster really decrease the drag for faster draw uh, protects the finish of your firearm for micro abrasions Okay, I'm calling BS on some of this stuff, uh, except for protecting the finish of your firearm. Because I did notice while I was carrying it that it did uh, start scratching or wearing the finish off um, quicker than what it, it had been. I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, faster draw? Oh, come on now. Uh, the, there's no there's going to be no difference in between me drawing in the heat of the moment when you got an adrenaline dump and I'm drawing from that alien gear and you got the same retention from that other holster that lubricant you put inside there is not going to make any difference and why I don't like that is because it's a dust magnet and uh, guns do not like dust magnets and I'll show you a picture of the inside of that holster where I was carrying it and compared to the one that didn't have the lubricant in it right here so yeah that that's a big strike for me is uh, recommending you put a lube inside of it um, every 50 to 100 draws or every 30 days my lord I draw more than that on a typical day just lounging around the house or doing stuff outside I just randomly draw and present my weapon. Uh, I do that constantly. I know some of you guys are thinking that's weird, 
but it's actually I do it for a reason. I do it so it'll be second nature. Uh, if I ever have to do that in a life or death situation, I won't even have to think about it. Um, that's the purpose of uh, practicing like that. It's practice, 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 so it's muscle memory. Well, that's a whole other video all itself. But I uh, don't like that. That's a big strike. What else? Let's see. That's all that came with the, the holster. I didn't even get an invoice with it. Um, I couldn't remember how much I had to pay for it, so I had to go back and look at my emails from them. But I didn't get an invoice. But what comes with the uh, alien gear? You get a sticker also, and you also get a bag. Um, nice bag, but they had purpose. They actually put stuff in their bag. Uh, you get all these extra spacers, different size spacers, and you also get different size screws, grommets, and even an Allen wrench in with it. So you get quite a bit of stuff with Alien Gear. You also get um, their booklet on, uh, you know, their sales gimmicks or telling what their uh, materials are made out of. And this is, you'll hear me mention the 430 position, and that's what I mean by it. That's where I uh, usually carry my pistol in the 430 position, just like that guy. And let's see, he tells you. And the can and the ride retention, how to adjust it, and gives you some more literature on uh, the different sizes of hardware so you can know how to do that. Uh, NRA stuff to join, and it also tells about the warranty, which uh, I had to look up on Stealth Gear to find out what their warranty was. But Alien Gear is very proud of their warranty, and they pretty much put it out there you can test drive it for 30 days uh, if you don't think it's the most comfortable concealable holster they'll buy it back no questions asked you can trade the shells in the actual shell part of the holster in if you get a different gun say uh, you sold your Glock and wanted to carry a SIG then you can trade pretty much uh, for free and I'm sure you'll have to pay the shipping on it but still you don't have to buy it and if it, for whatever, now this is what I like, the forever warranty. If any part of your Alien Gear holster ever breaks for any reason, we'll repair it or replace it for free. We've got you covered. Now, you can't beat that warranty. Uh, I read Stealth Gear's warranty, and it was not as forgiving. It was, it had more stipulations in it and was just a little more uh, assertive, I guess you'd say. Where this is kind of cut and dry, you know, something happens to it send it in they'll fix it or send you another one so let's uh that's i've showed you what all comes with the holsters and let me get to the comparisons and here's the price difference still and this is the total price is in shipping included so total price of the stealth gear that i bought was 106.95 the alien gear cloak 3.0 was 5283 and i'm having trouble drawing my threes today for some reason and the basic alien gear inner waistband holster is 38.33 but they charge five dollars for a black i thought that was strange but uh so basically this old school one i got this one which i've done the video on comparing it to the new cloak tuck 3.0 will cost me 43.83 and the difference in price, I've got that right here, um, $63.12 is the difference between my original holster and that Stealth Gear holster. And uh, that's a big difference. And the new and improved Alien Gear is $54.12 difference. So you could buy two of those for the price of one Stealth Gear. So that's a big difference, guys. And is it worth it? Well, not to me it's not. Uh, it's a great holster, very well made, but it's, to me it's not worth the extra money. Uh, price advantage definitely goes to Alien Gear. Uh, value, you know, what you get for your money, I definitely go towards Alien Gear on that. Quality, I'm actually giving that to Stealth Gear just because it's so robustly made. I mean, the 
it's it's obvious the thing is built like a tank. Uh, is it overbuilt? You know, who am I to say? I, I don't know, but I, this this material is is crazy. I mean, you could throw this in a garbage disposal and it'll probably come out just fine. Now, one thing that I did see that may cause a problem in the future is these what I call naked holes back here okay now they did take a something like a heat gun or something and kind of uh, singed the edges there so it wouldn't unravel but part of it is didn't get singed and I could see that unraveling or fraying in the future uh, who knows it may never do it and it might do it after wearing it for a few months but uh regardless i still gave uh, points to stealth gear for uh quality not taken away from mailing gear because uh batten's been proven batten's lasted me you know uh between three and four years already and it's still there's still nothing wrong with it uh comfort goes to alien gear um Definitely because of the backing. That backing made all the difference in the world. Uh, it's just it's more comfortable. Concealability that goes to stealth gear. And the only reason why I say that is because it's more, just a little more concealable because of the size difference. You can tell, uh, you know, this one's just a little smaller. It weighs about an ounce less than this one. And they also put a little more forward cant in the the shell to the platform and i post i'll put a picture up of the uh, I, po I put a string in between the uh, clips to show you where the belt line would be and gives you a better idea of the where it sits on your in your pants and i'll show that picture here Warranty definitely goes to Alien Gear. Uh, it's obvious they got the better warranty. There's no BS or nothing. They tell you point blank for whatever reason. Uh, send it in. They'll give you another one or repair it. Options goes to Alien Gear. They've got uh, definitely more options with uh, the clips. They've got leather clips, C clips, J clips, steel clips, all kinds of different clips. Uh, where I didn't see that with uh, stealth gear and if they have it I missed it and it wasn't uh, uh, offered to me so those are my points if anybody has any questions or has any other points they'd like me to address that I didn't think of please let me know and I'll be glad to tell you because I've definitely uh, gotten familiar with all these holsters and uh, uh, my favorite one is definitely going to be the alien, alien gear cloak tuck 3.0.